Hey friends, do you ever wonder if your electric meter is accurately recording the amount of power you're using? Well, I kind of wondered because my electric bill was over 400 bucks some months during the summer. And so I wanted to figure out a test to make sure it was accurate. And here's the test setup. I got a uh, kilowatt meter. Right now it's, what does that say? 13.39 amps. There you go, you can read that. I uh, just got a couple of loads plugged in, a, a 600 watt lamp, I use for painting, especially in the winter, it keeps the room warm, and then a space heater. So between those two, that's about 14 amps. And everything else in the house is turned off. You know, I turned every single circuit breaker off, so there's only one, one live branch circuit. Uh, disconnected, the, this is a few other things were on here, like the uh, garage door opener, so unplugged that, unplugged everything that was in there. and. Then, of course, you need to look at your electric meter. So, I turned everything off. I took a picture of where we were on this and went to the baseball game. Five hours later, came back, checked the, uh, the wattage on the kilowatt meter and compared it to the reading on the meter on the, on the side of the house. And lo and behold, they were pretty darn much the same. I'll show you that data real quick. Thanks. Okay, so just to back up a little bit and let you know why I was wondering if my meter was accurate, this shows uh, my usage in blue in dollars per month compared to an average home in green and efficient homes in purple. And I'm like, you know, the kids have moved out. It's just the two of us. We're pretty, you know, we turn off the lights. And where is all this power going to? So I started doing some digging. But I thought, I thought first thing I'm going to do is, man, if my electric meter's off by 25%, they're going to owe me a couple thousand bucks because it's been there for 20 years. And uh, I'll show you how I compared the numbers. Okay, so I don't know if you've uh, ever read a meter like this before. It's kind of news to me. The way it works is you start with the circle on the right and you go across so there's five digits all together uh, and you read it by looking at uh, which is the smallest number you take the smallest number unless it's a between a nine and a zero in which case you take the nine so starting with the circle on the right that's a one. First digit's a one. Second digit between a zero and a one so that's a zero next the middle circle is a seven between a seven and an eight uh, the next circle is between a 2 and a 3, so you pick a 2. And lastly, it's between a 0 and a 1, so you pick a 0. Now, this is kind of a bad example to start with because the middle circle is right on a 7. Now, is that really at a 7, or is it at 6.99? So if the other lower digits were, instead of a 0, 1, a 9, 9, then you'd say, aha, that's between a 6 and a 7, if that makes any sense. Anyway, since this is an analog meter, we can approximate a decimal point. So looking at that circle on the right, it looks to be, a, I'm going to call it 0 0.8 of the way past the 1. Hence, we get that start reading shown in the diagram. And then, so we got the start reading. We go to the baseball game. That was a great game. And then we come back home and look at the meter reading so real fast uh, the first circle on the right is a zero the next circle is a one the middle circle is a seven and then a two and then a zero and we can estimate the decimal point to be about a point two so doing the math we have uh, that start reading and that stop reading and lo and behold it comes out to 8.2, I'm sorry, 8.4 kilowatt hours. And then we go over to our kilowatt meter, and that shows 8.28, close to 8.3. So the difference isn't much. Uh, based on our reading of the meter on the wall, that was 8.4. The other meter shows 8.3. It's not the 25% I was looking for. Rats. But anyway, so where is all my power going to? 
I'll tell you about that coming right up. Okay, well, I'm convinced that my meter is recording my energy usage accurately. So where is all that going? My, my buddy, his bill is about half as much as mine, and my bill was 260 bucks in the month of May. And so I started doing some recording. I picked up this amp meter from Amazon, best 40 bucks I ever spent. You just hook it around the, the hot lead. I measured my air conditioning unit, 16 point something amps. That comes out to 43 bucks a, a month if you figure it runs, you know, 25% of the time. But the killer turned out to be the circulation fan. That was 10 amps continuously. If you think about it, that's 120, a 1,200 watts of heat going into the system which can't be good in the summertime. You think about that 600 watt lamp I've had out there that I use for painting. Two of those things, that's a lot of heat. And so what I'm now doing is only running the circulation fan when I need to. You know, when the, when the cooling is on plus a little extra, you know, I got a, a Wi-Fi smart thermostat, I can set whatever percentage I want on the circulation fan. So anyway, at 10 amps, that's $115 a month continuously so it cost me over a grand over thirteen hundred dollars to run that thing a year so I'm thinking about getting a new motor instead of one of those uh, I think that's a PSM permanent magnet switch motor and I'm gonna go with a electric electrically commutated motor supposedly like uh, a lot more efficient anyway that's a whole new video but thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this. I know I learned a lot in doing this exercise. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.